Hello YouTube, in this tutorial you'll discover how to manipulate text and create a paper cutout effect using Adobe Illustrator. Create a new document at 1920 by 1080 pixel. Use the type tool to write out the word paper. Center the text using the align panel and switch the font to a thicker option such as Gotham Bold. Select the text, right click, and choose Create Outline. Press Command or Control R to display the guides. Then position the guides at the top and at the bottom. Ungroup the text and reverse the fill to create an outline. Begin by manipulating the shapes of the text. Utilize the Direct Selection tool to select points for deletion or adjustment. Activate the Pen tool to recreate the appearance of the letter P. Proceed to work on the letter A. Activate the pen tool and draw a line down the middle. Select all, then activate the shape builder and remove the right side by holding Option or Alt on your keyboard. Focus on the left side only. Activate the curve tool and adjust the lines accordingly. After completion, Activate the Reflect tool. Option or Alt click in the middle and mirror it to the right side. Merge the shapes together using the Shape Builder tool once more. Make slight modifications to the letter E. Utilize the base of the letter P for the letter R. With the pen tool, redesign the bottom to achieve a desired effect. Combine the new shapes together using the Shape Builder tool. Okay, moving forward, let's create a duplicate of the artboard. We'll need two copies of this to work effectively. Going back to the original one, activate the Pencil tool. You can press Enter and make sure to have the setting set to Max Smoothness. And let's draw out some random shapes. Once you've added all our lines, Select all and activate the shape builder once more. Option or alt click on the lines to delete them. Apply this same method to all the other letters. Now let's apply some colors. Select all and activate the Live Paint Bucket tool. You can select each sector and apply a color to it. I already created a color palette which you can see the codes in the video description. Easily click on each shape and apply a color. If you enjoy this type of content and digital illustration tutorials, then please drop a like and subscribe to the channel as it greatly helps the channel grow, and I'm super thankful for it. Once we're done, go to the menu and select Expand. Then right click and ungroup everything, make sure to also ungroup the color shapes. The secret to creating the cutout effect is to select all and applying a drop shadow. 
If all of your color shapes are ungrouped, then it should look like this. Go back to the shapes and select some and send it to the back. Go to the other artboard and invert the stroke to a black fill. Next, create a beige background using the rectangle tool. Right click and send it to back. Select all and head to the Pathfinder panel and click on minus front. This will create an inverted clipping mask. Now select the shapes and apply a drop shadow to it. And finally, do a copy and paste in place of the background onto the original artboard. And just like that, you learned how to create a cutoff text effect in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Cheers everyone!